What is up everyone, it is Sacred Sign here, welcoming you to the first episode of the new series, What If Goku Was In Star Wars. If you end up liking today's video, then please consider subscribing, it is free and you can always unsubscribe later. There's a link in the description of the video to join my Discord server and also to become a channel member if you want to support the channel. And if you want to see more Star Wars What Ifs, then there is a link to my Star Wars channel in the description of the video as well. And with all of that out of the way, let's get into the first episode of the series, What If Goku Was In Star Wars? So, for Goku to be in the Star Wars timeline, I'm going to have to make some big changes. You see, I'm not going to be bringing Goku into this timeline, but instead, he will be born in it. And for this to happen, I'm going to be creating a new version of the Saiyan race inside of Star Wars. This version of the Saiyan race is very similar to the Mandalorians, other than some major differences. For one, the Saiyan race is an extremely force sensitive race, however, they have no training in the ways of the force, so their force abilities are very limited. The Saiyan race is also very small in size in this timeline. There are only a couple hundred Saiyans alive. And finally, they do not have the same resources as the Mandalorians, meaning they have had to trade with the Mandalorians in order to get their Beskar armor. A couple of days before the events of the Phantom Menace, Palpatine realises that the Saiyan race could be a great fawn in his side when the Clone Wars commence. He knows the Mandalorians won't interfere, however, the Saiyan race have the potential to shift the tide of the war for whichever side they are on, and if they join the side of the Republic, there could be the slim chance of some of them being trained by the Jedi, which could not only affect the Clone Wars on a large scale, but also his eventual execution of Order 66. Palpatine summons Maul, and he orders his apprentice to go to planet Vegeta with a fleet of battle droids, supplied by the Trade Federation, and exterminate the Saiyan race. However, leave the prince alive, and bring him to me. He can still be of use to me. Maul nods, following his master's orders like a trained dog, and he heads to planet Vegeta immediately. And then, the slaughter begins. The Saiyans are extremely outnumbered and unprepared, so Maul, with the help of the battle droids, is effortlessly taking care of the Saiyan race. However, one Saiyan foresaw this happening. This Saiyan's name was Bardock, and the night before Maul arrived, he had a nightmare of this happening. Much like Anakin had the nightmare of Padme and his mother dying, and Bardock and his wife Gine decide they have no other option but to send their son away, to another planet. However, they aren't given enough time to think of a plan to send their son to, as Maul is running towards them at a ferocious speed. So, without a destination set, Bardock and Gene send their son into space, and the five-year-old boy watches from his space pod as Maul cuts his parents down. The boy begins to scream and cry as his pod leaves the atmosphere, and Maul heads to the royal castle, where the king has already been killed and the prince has been captured. Maul then opens his communications device, and a hologram of Palpatine emerges, Palpatine asking Maul if it has been done, and Maul says yes, however one Saiyan escaped, it was a boy, a child, he has no significance whatsoever and couldn't possibly interfere with their plans. Palpatine begins to force shake Maul through the hologram, telling the Zabrak that if he ever hears even a mention of that boy, then Maul will pay with his life. Palpatine then releases his grip on Maul, and orders his apprentice to bring the prince to the industrial sector on Coruscant. Maul obeying his master's command, and he drags an incapacitated prince into his ship. Days later, around two days after the events of the Phantom Menace, Master Plo Koon is sent on a mission to a planet in the Outer Rim. However, while flying in deep space, Plo Koon senses a strong presence in the Force, arriving near a planet full of forest, and he sees a space pod near the atmosphere of the planet. Plo Koon senses a strong Force presence inside of the space pod, and he grapples it onto a ship, slowly landing on the planet below, as Master Plo exits his ship, and he opens the space pod. Seeing a small boy, and Plo Koon takes a moment to think, before grabbing the boy, and bringing him onto his ship, and then heading back towards Coruscant. His prior mission could wait. Master Plo brings the boy in front of the Jedi Council, in order for his force sensitivity to be tested. The boy waking up, only after being in the presence of the Jedi Council. The Jedi Council learn that the boy's name is Kakarot, and how his entire race was killed by a black and red monster with a red coloured laser sword, like the ones the Jedi have on them. All the Jedi present 
realised the boy is referring to the Sith that was recently defeated by Obi-Wan. And after testing the boy's Force sensitivity, they realise that his midichlorian count even nears Master Yoda's. Plo Koon requests that he trains the boy, as with proper guidance, he could be a great asset to the Jedi. However, the Jedi Council are not as convinced. The boy must have great anger for seeing his entire race wiped out, and anger could lead him to the dark side. Plo Koon would retort, saying that this is the very reason he must be trained, as if he doesn't learn how to control his emotions, then that would most certainly lead him to the dark side. Mace Windu would even try to say that the boy is too old, but Yoda stops him, saying that changed some rules might need to be. And after the Jedi Council hold a vote on the matter, it is decided that Goku will join the Jedi Order and will be the apprentice of Master Plo Koon. Palpatine would quickly get word of this, scowling as the boy that escaped Maul has now become the apprentice of one of the most powerful Jedi in the Order. However, Palpatine smirks and thinks that it doesn't matter. Now Maul is dead, he will convert the misguided Jedi Dooku for the time being, until his younger and more powerful apprentice will eventually replace him. However, even they will just be a tool, as his main prize will still be the Jedi so-called Chosen One, Skywalker. The Prince does have a midichlorian count which does actually surpass Master Yoda's. However, even still, it doesn't match Anakin's, and Palpatine will not accept anything less than that. Goku begins his training under Master Plo Koon, and Plo is the exact kind of master someone with Kakarot's potential and circumstance needs. A father figure, who is both stern, however not too strict that Kakarot will resent him. Instead, he respects his master, looks up to him, and he hopes that one day, he will be able to be his master's equal. However, Plo assures his apprentice that one day, Kakarot will even surpass him. Kakarot and Plo would mostly stay in the Jedi Temple, Kakarot honing both his lightsaber and force ability. However, him and his master do still go on a few field missions, meaning Kakarot will also get some field experience, which he's going to need for the upcoming Clone Wars. Some time passes, and we head to the events of Attack of the Clones. However, I think we're going to leave that to the next part, so we're going to end off here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, then make sure to like, comment, and please do subscribe. It is quick and easy to do. Also, I want to give a huge thank you to Mystic Angel, Crimson Dragon 5401, Father Ku, Neo Whitcomb, Destroy God Broly, and Yeti Myth for becoming channel members. If you want to be shouted out at the end of the video and give other perks like the channel members here, then there is a link in the description down below to become a channel member. It greatly supports me and it helps me immensely. With all of that out of the way, I hope to see you all in the next episode of. What if Goku was in Star Wars?